Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new, I would like to say, hey, welcome to the channel. Um, and if you already have been subscribed to my channels and watching and tuning into my videos, I would like to say thank you. And uh, thank you for being true and real. So guys, today I am going to be doing a lip gloss. I'm launching a new flavor today on my website. Well, it's going to launch next week, but today I will be uh, creating the flavor. I have to get that documented on the website, make sure I put the ingredients and log it on my business um, notebook that I have. And then that way I can always refer back to what I did. I already started fooling around with what I really wanted um, it to look like. So you guys will just be staying tuned with me while I do that. So today's gonna be basically about creating the lip gloss so if you are like really into stuff like this then keep on watching um so we got to get our syringe and push all the air out which can be a hassle okay so what we're going to do is first start out with some hand sanitizer And I like to do it like twice because you you just never know. You want to be clean as possible, especially with some product that you are uh, getting prepared to for potential customers. So I'm really anal about that. Then we'll also wear gloves too, so. All right, I already wiped off the table space, but I am going to grab another sanitizer wipe to do it again. So, hold tight, stick with me, people. Stick with me. And this is the crazy thing about creating lip gloss. It is time consuming, normally, I have help like my daughter to help me. Um, sometimes I just have any family members that's willing to pitch out and help. Um, Cause sometimes it actually can be really a fun process. And if you include other people with you. So yeah, just doing this by myself, it isn't as fun as with somebody cause you would have somebody to talk to. And, cause it does take a while. Like just me getting set up for the live, that alone, took a good hour so i'm already beaten i didn't even do anything yet so it's like i don't know but what can you do guys this this is the this is what i do i mean um when i work like monday through friday at my regular job this is what i do on the side so it's like never like a moment where I get to myself like I would I get time off to myself but it's just like I'm always constantly working so but I enjoy it so when you really enjoy something you like then you have no problem with that so that's how it is speaking of that I'm gonna put some lip gloss on okay so Let's get started here. I'm gonna put my gloves on. And you're gonna go through gloves. I mean, as much as lip gloss is a bunch of mess, you just it's just bound to happen. So don't think you're gonna get out of here <laughs> with a clean table and all of that. No, it's, it's gonna be a mess. Okay, so what I was trying to figure out, because with my current lip gloss that I have, these are all documented flavors on my website. Um, again, I do have labels for each flavor that I buy and get customized with my logo and the ingredients are on them. 
And then also contact information in case anybody needed to contact me. That is also listed there as well. So that is that. So I was trying to come up with my head. What should I do for the next like lip gloss flavor? So there's so many that I can choose from when creating like you know lip glosses and like the flavoring and 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 what i what like i think of the flavoring i put together well what color i could do with that and that's kind of like what gets me intrigued and more fun colors the better so i realize i don't have a yellow one so I was thinking to myself like let me grab what I could grab that could give me that yellow look for the lip gloss so here is the thing I have two well this one's mainly a yellow but I was like well this is a, lo a little bright very pigmented and did I really want to go for this type of really yellow look? And I'm actually still not quite sure. I was messing around with it here, but I'm just not really sure. So I decided that I might mix a little gold, but then that kind of might take away from it actually being yellow, right? So it's just ideas. The gold might take away from it actually being yellow. So I might stick with this. Even if, if I do do a little bit of this gold, it may be just a tad bit. But because I really want a yellow. So that's that. It's going to be like what I continue to do. So right now I'm not... This is very light. It's not pigmented. As you notice, my lip glosses are very pigmented. So I already know that this is not going to be the color that I stick with. So when I was off camera, I was just basically trying to gauge what I want. Because when I make business decisions on what's going to be listed, what's going to be a great sale. Like right now, my lip glosses are selling pretty good. That's why I always have to keep some lip glosses on hand because... I have friends, co-workers who all like order these and they order more than one. So I definitely keep more than uh, enough on hand. And also I'm switching to, and then also I have like the actual lip gloss where it's a lip balm where you just smooth it on. And then also have the stick lips um, glosses. So it's just, I have a mixture of both when it comes to all flavors they can choose either one so what we're gonna do is create a yellow one we know that for sure guys and girls and anyone i don't know what to say any all you guys <laughs> so because it's probably just not women just not men watching but anyway so i know for a fact i don't know if you guys can see this Let's see if I can just close it and just show you the back without spilling anything. So I know I want to use this yellow. I know that for a fact because that's going to give it some great shimmer. Like right now with the green one that it has green shimmer in this. This is my green apple one, which, oh my, it actually smells and tastes like green apple. It's like the best lip gloss ever. I love it. Just throw it in my bag and it keeps my lips moisturized as you can tell like I have some really big lips that I was born with and yeah it keeps it moisturized so I think that shimmer gold will go good I think really good with these two but then I'm always still thinking about this one that I really want to do so we will see and then for flavoring because I can't just make a lip gloss without some type of flavor I guess gotta make flavor with this so i am doing lemonade so we just need a little bit of that so we're gonna do that 
Okay, so let's get started here. I don't want to waste any more time as this can get pretty long. That's why, you know, you guys don't get to see what all I go through. I make, I have like six different flavors in six different bowls. Like I have so many bowls that, and they have their own lids and their own labels. Um, but this one I chose to be fancy with you guys so you guys can really see. But normally they're in these bowls so I can close it with lids on there. So for this one, of course, I'm, I'm filming a video. So of, of course I want you guys to be able to see. But normally there's like six different flavors going on and I'm serving there, serving that. Like, okay, how does that one look? And I'm like, okay, that one has enough shimmer. This one has too much. Then you got to gauge that. Then you got to make sure the flavor is all right. Then I got to refer back to the book like, well, what did I mix with that one because sometimes I get all thrown off like what did I mix with that because I want to keep the same like flow so it's just crazy so luckily today you guys won't have to go through that because it's me creating a new one today so whatever I do today will just be like my new ingredients here so guys we're going to put a little bit in here I just try not to put too much because sometimes I can be really pigmented it's better to be less than too much. And I don't put that much of that at all. Then we stir. I don't know if you guys can see. Kind of giving that yellow look, which is awesome. And that shimmery, see how that just changed it? It's the best lip gloss ever. I'm already liking it, like, I don't want to change it. it should I make it more yellow what do you think I don't want to go too much oh it looks beautiful guys this is no joke this is awesome um I'm gonna have to make a judgment call we are not gonna be doing this it's just it's just not happening the way this yellow is so vibrant that that is awesome i'm like almost going to say let's just put in a tad bit more yellow but i don't want to overdo it i, I don't want to overdo it it's like what do i do don't want to overdo it I don't know. I'm just going to do a little bit more, guys. But that's pretty. Okay. Oh, I probably put a tad bit much. I think we should have not put that much. I don't know if you guys can see, but we're going to give it a try, guys. Oh, yeah, no, this is actually perfect. I think this is this gave it way more yellow, and that's the yellow I'm kind of looking for. Well, I'm not kind of. I think that is the actual yellow that I'm looking for. Wow, this is beautiful. Guys, I think I like this one more than my other flavors. This yellow is awesome. Look at that. I think we're gonna launch this one tonight. Lemonade. It's beautiful. The right consistency for lip gloss. 
the right shimmer. Like, I wonder, I really, really wonder if I can I give you guys a close up, but I don't know. Let's see. Hopefully that gave you guys a visual. So, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm actually proud of that. So, now that we have that, let me close this without the air bubbles and then it likes to. Okay, so we can put that back. We officially didn't need, that was the yellow. I just love it. I, I can't, I really, really actually love it. Okay, so now we're going to add our lemonade flavoring, which the lemonade flavoring, you just need a real little of that, that it actually goes a long way. And we're not here to just eat the lip gloss, we're just here to give it that flavor. So... Let's do that. All right, so we got our lemonade flavoring. It feels like a science project, doesn't it? It's like crazy. Wow, I can already smell the lemonade. actually can go need a little bit because if I can't like actually smell it in because this this little mixture can can make tons of lip gloss so sometimes you need a little bit of more flavoring to make sure it gets through all of the lip gloss because that's kind of how all my lip glosses is like every flavor you can literally when you're putting on your lips you can actually smell it as well So you actually know what it is. There we go. Lemonade. So awesome. We have our lemonade. Finally. All right. So this is what I like to do. Because it, it will get messy. So that's why you're going to have tons of paper towel. No matter what. It's just going to be tons of mess. Stuff that I don't need, I can just move over to the side. I would like to have much space as possible. thing about this new flavoring I don't have a logo for it so when you create like new lip glosses of course you have to create that logo again unless you know in advance ahead of time that you were going to create this and before you created it then of course you would have that but 
No, I just made this up literally just today, so. Okay. So, people keep asking, where do you get, like, these lip gloss tubes? You can find these on Amazon. I actually don't remember the price, but the good news about this is once you um, type in the search bar uh, lip gloss tubes, there these will be almost the first ones that come up, so you can't miss them. So, it comes with, I think these are... 100 per pack and I had grabbed three of these because I go through so much with the wholesale. So how it works is um, I buy three of these and they're 100 in each. So it's, I get a total of 300. And then it comes with the stoppers. So you don't have to worry about any leakage. These would actually be the stoppers that go inside. And then you can also, well, of course, put them on your lips. So we're going to do a couple with you guys on camera. can get time consuming, so I don't want to do something that's very repetitive for you guys. But I wanted to show you. So we're going to do, um, how about let's do eight. Let's just do eight. Let's keep it simple here. And then these are the actual tops that goes on them. So this one makes it so, so much stuff to do. But it's fun. I mean, if you like things for your business and you really enjoy what you do, then you shouldn't have a problem with this. Like, as much as it takes up so much time, at the end of the day, I love it. So it's fine with me. Okay. So we think we have everything. Again, I'm good. yes, I'm gonna put a, <laughs> more hand sanitizer on my gloves. Another dose. So strong. Jeez. Okay, let's get started. I just really love this yellow. I can't, I can't, I can't, I just can't. Okay guys, so let's make sure our syringe, and these syringe I bought wholesale from this vendor, and I have a lot of these, but I tend to try to keep it with one lip gloss flavoring at a time because you, you'll be having so much lip gloss syringes and so many lip gloss flavorings in your lip gloss syringes, so I try to keep it to the same flavoring, if possible. Let's get our syringe and let's fill it up. Okay. So you wanna wipe the excess um, on the side of the bowl. And this is why I like these syringes because there were some uh, previous syringes that I used and they were like the smaller syringes and they, it just takes longer time for it you to fill up the tube, the lip gloss tube. So this one has a longer like point or nasal so it was easier to get down into the lip gloss. And then skirt away, try not to fill it up too much. And then what I like to do is hang it on the side like that. Cause you don't want to dip it back in there. It just gets way too messy. Take one of our stoppers and I like to just cram it in there. Bingo. And 
and we have one lemonade. Then you know you have a good gel, um, lip gloss base. The way it just goes into the tube. So I also pay attention to the consistency. When I was first trying out lip gloss and trying to figure out the right consistency, it was just way too thick. I was like, yeah, something's not right. So I kept trying and trying again um, until I got the right consistency. So it was like trial and error, basically. So you know when you got the right consistency on how it just actually goes down. It shouldn't be too... With your lip gloss, it actually should not be too watery and too thick. It should be like really in between. Now, don't get me wrong. There is lip gloss out there that is super thick. And it's probably some really good kind too. Um, and then there's probably some that are too light um, and liquidy. But I'm sure that those are also good ones too. So it just depends on how you like your lip gloss. You know how you like your lips to be moisturized. I like mine to just have a right consistency, not too thick. I don't like it being stuck when you're trying to do like that. And then it's like all stuck and it's hard for you to move your lips. So I'm like, I don't like lip gloss that's that like type of thick. Now, I do like... Sometimes I do like liquidy. Yes, I do. But never, I don't like it too thick. Now, when it's too liquidy, you better have a good seal on your lip gloss tubes because that can, I don't know how that doesn't like make a mess. So I guess it just depends. So the access you want to just move out because it's going to be hard to, to move the air back out until you take the remainder out. So I already knew I wouldn't be able to make another one because it was only a little bit left. So squeeze it out and we're going to try again. Suck it up. Yes, it's going to make this noise, but it's probably gathering air. Yeah, the last one was just air. happy that I could I got lemonade flavor I don't know I just I'm really excited about that I think I will go because I already know that I'm going to be launching this next week so what I want to do is get my labels created so I can put some labels on this and the crazy thing is, like, I don't want to name it, obviously, Lemonade. Like, I want to have some, like, twist to it. Like, I don't know. My names to my lip glosses, sometimes they're just plain simple. Like, Green Apple was definitely just Green Apple. But for Blueberry, it was, like, Berry Blast. And for Watermelon, we did... Um melon something so forgot the name but so i kind of want to have like i don't know a different like name so it would be lemon burst that's exactly what i'm gonna or lemon twist. Mm. Okay, so at the end, I like to tip it. Because you want to make sure you get all of it out. So we're going to set that there. 
because we want to make sure we get the last bit out, which is going to be hard. So I like to always lean it up against something so it can just be tilted, which I don't got really nothing to lean it against. struggles so now we can get in there come on don't don't do this to me we just want to get the last bit out why why <laughs> this is why i like to have another person why do i gotta be doing this by myself prevailed. Don't you love it when you prevail? And I almost got out every last bit. Yeah. That's the way to do it. Did a waste on the nope. Well, isn't that awesome? I caught it. All right, so um, maybe I can do one more. all of the gel base. Say this is the best hand sanitizer, hands down. Like, that's legit some real hand sanitizer right there. Okay. Let's get a stopper here. We may do two if it'll go. I'm not sure. This will fit one more, but. We're going to do what we got to do here. Get her done. Oh, we get an air. I can tell some air is going to come out. It's barely making it. Literally so hard to grab the last bit. If you if you a person that can get it all out, good for you. Because sometimes that's really hard to get out. The last bits of the gel base. I love the yellow. Look at it. Seriously. We have yellow. It's almost giving me gold now. This is not gonna make one, but we're gonna give it a shot. No.
this one probably can be for me. This. That's it guys. This one's of course gonna be for me to test out. And that's totally fine with me. I just keep a couple in my purse anyway, so. All right, so that's it. We can take off this. I kept the mess on here, which is good. Close up this. So what I like to do is I like to rinse these off. So these go into a bowl with soapy water to rinse off all the grease. And then it goes into our stock that we have here. Now we have some yellow. So, yeah, that's kind of pretty much it. That's how we do it. I'm always a stickler about making sure all the lip gloss is closed. So I'm going to quick rinse these to add it to this pile here. Okay, so we have some soapy water. So, our next step would be make sure they're all closed completely.
because once I have the labels created and come up with an actual name for this new flavoring, the labels won't stick if it even have an ounce of like stickiness to it. So no matter how bad you sanitize and got the lip gloss in the tubes, it's always going to be some residue on the outside. It's just, that's just how it is. So... Okay, so that's pretty much it. You know, you guys rocked out with me with one flavor. I think that's awesome. And I think we're going to probably dive more deeper into this lip gloss with you guys because I'm also launching a new one because I no longer want to invest in these. I want to invest in ones that actually have my logo on it, like not as an actual sticker right i want my logo to be like in, imprinted on the lip gloss tubes so and then i also were thinking i wanted like some type of crystals on it um to give it that like nice look so that's kind of where i'm heading with that so yeah for right now it's it's okay to to keep this going but that's kind of where i'm heading towards doing so I don't know we'll we'll see thank you for everyone tuning in to this video I hope you enjoyed it stay tuned for part two we will create labels and pricing